Good morning, I'm Madison. And I'm Austin. These are your announcements for Thursday, January 16th. UNI Talent Search and the Iowa College Access Network are sponsoring a financial aid workshop for seniors and their parents on Saturday, January 18th from 10 to noon at UniQ. Assistance completing the FAFSA forms will be offered in if 2013 income tax information is available. For more information, call 433-1220. The Vocal Music Department will hold its monthly can drive Saturday, January 18th from 9 a.m. to noon in the parking lot, Baltimore Street entrance. Glass, plastic, and aluminum cans are accepted. It's time to start thinking about your classes for next year. If you would like to take college credit classes, you will need to earn certain scores on the Compass Test. You will not be able to register for these classes until you have the minimum scores. The Compass Test will be offered on three consecutive Wednesdays at 1.20 p.m. in the IMC beginning on January 29th. You must have your Social Security number with you on the Wednesday you test, or you will not be able to test. Sign up in Counseling Services. Space is limited. This is also a good opportunity for seniors to who need to improve their scores or haven't taken it before. Today's events. 9th Girls Boys Basketball vs. Holmes at 4 p.m. Wrestling at Cedar Rapids Prairie and Xavier at 5.30 p.m. Have a nice day, Wahawks. Have you ever wanted to run your own country, plan a nuclear war, take over the world perhaps, bring countries together to solve problems and make peace? Then Arab-Israeli conflict is just the class for you. In this class you will learn about the history behind the Middle East and spontaneous events across the world. You will learn about all of the key elements in controlling your own country. Playing the part of a current world leader, you will arrange military personnel, form secret alliances with other countries, and stop at nothing to see that your country succeeds in their journey throughout this simulation. From action forums to press releases, you can change the course of the simulation with just one click of a button. The future of the world is at your very fingertips with Arab-Israeli conflict. So can you give me some examples about the uh, Arab-Israeli conflict class? Like uh, it's, about? It's, it's a class basically that focuses on the tensions in the Middle East, mostly between Israelis and Palestinians. And all the students are put into groups and we participate in like a simulation where you get to play a group from the Middle East and just kind of establish goals and hash out the conflict and All right, yeah. so can you tell me about this uh, simulation thing that you guys do in this class? Um, simulation is basically over the whole semester and you're basically given a character in the simulation and you get to act out a role in there. You can basically do whatever you want uh, to try and get your goals. So what is the, like, the most best experience that you got from this class? Um, the whole simulation period, you had to act out in your role, otherwise the stuff you tried to get to happen or get done didn't really work out for you. Um, I'm still ten. How detailed is this class? I'd say about a 9 or a 10. It's, you can do really a lot of things. Um, what has it that you uh, learned or took from this class after it was over? Well, I've learned that it's not that simple to solve the conflict going on in the Middle East, and it's going to take time, more time than you can possibly get in a simulation with a bunch of other kids. It's not that easy.